Morning guys, it's Kate. I'm coming in for my first week post-op um, and have a bunch of updates. So we'll start with, <clears throat> excuse me, numbers. Um, 390 is my highest. I went in at 360 for surgery and today I'm 352. I was 350. I'm not entirely sure how you gain weight on a 200 calorie diet, but um, I did. Um, so I think it's just your body sorting itself out. Um, so I'm 38 pounds down since February, since I started, and eight pounds down since surgery, give or take. Um, I'm pretty pleased with those numbers. I mean, I have nothing to complain about, so great um, no buyer's remorse um, and feeling a whole lot better than I did before um, I had some issues uh, when I came home um, with dehydration and I was able to manage it at home thankfully I have um, a bunch of nurses in my family and I can be sort of monitored um, it is definitely not easy uh, there was a couple of times where I thought I was going to have to go back and um, disclaimer, I mean, if you do think you're dehydrated, go back. Uh, I just didn't have me in it to do it. So if I was going to go back, they were going to come get me. Um, I was able to drink more water. The water was an issue. I woke up dehydrated and um, I don't know how I could have prevented that. I mean, I'd had two liters of fluids the day before and then just woke up dehydrated and I guess that just happens um, but once you are you're behind and yeah it was hard um, so getting water and stuff in has not been an issue um, as I said before I'm a little um, sensitive to cold like if I'm eating a popsicle or I have really cold water um, I get like these little spasms and they go away as soon as they come, but I do get them. Um, and I think that's just from cold water. Um, what else? Uh, eating. I mean, you're not really not supposed to eat. I'm on a, a two week full liquid diet, which means um, I can add in things like uh, sugar free puddings and custards. I can put in cream soups that are strained. Um, what else can I put in? Oatmeal, cream of wheat, um, things like that. Uh, which was exciting to come off of Opti and be able to have that, um, but it is still not satisfying. Um, so I've, I've been eating, um, this is just like a little, if everyone can see that, um, just a little container of oatmeal it's about a quarter of a cup and I can eat this at one sitting. I'm actually kind of shocked about what I can eat and take in. Um, I had posted on Facebook that I thought maybe I was broken because I'm having no full feelings or um, at one time I thought it was hunger and thanks to um, Peter who was able to say that there's so much going on and the liquid just going to go through and it's got this like um, you know when you drink a lot of water you feel waterlogged and you kind of have that rumbling feeling that can sort of mimic a hunger feeling um, it's that uh, and it's kind of annoying and it's really just a digestion and things trying to sort itself out so um, one of these can go down um, not really sure if I'm happy about that or not um, so I make the oatmeal and I got an all-natural organic oatmeal and um, I just make it with water and then I do add just a little bit of the um, Edie Smith syrup, the sugar free, um, like just to, uh, to get a little flavor. Um, but I mean I don't, I don't mind oatmeal, in fact I love oatmeal so um, that's been a bit of a lifesaver. I am also doing my shakes, my premier protein. Um, and not having any problem with it. I had some problems the first two days because it was kind of thick. Um, 
and as I said before, I have a little bit of um, a bowel issue when I have protein broken down into a liquid form like this, so or powder. Um, it just makes me want to go. And because I was already battling dehydration, I stopped my protein um, so that I wouldn't have that added dehydration. Um, but they're going down fine now, so fine now. So I can do one of these a day, two of these a day, and they have 30 grams of protein. So I'm doing okay with getting 60 in, which I'm pretty stoked about because we're only first week out. Um, these have been a lifesaver. Anyone see these? So you can buy them um, <clears throat> in the canned soup aisle. Excuse me. <clears throat> This is the field potato, potato wow, and spring leek. Um, it smells like food. It smells, my, my family had steak on the barbecue last night and potatoes and salad. And when you're drinking a cup of broth or eating some oatmeal, it doesn't cut it. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have that savory hit. Um, so I was really happy that we had picked this up and it, Smells very oniony and um, it was good. It was really good. Um, if you strain it, there are a couple of little pieces of potato in there. They're so broken down by um, pasteurization that really you just sort of chew it up with your teeth. Um, we're talking teeny weeny pieces. So um, definitely have some of these. There's like a, a squash. There's uh, red pepper and tomato one. There's all kinds. So um, get some just to break up the monotony of flavors. I feel like I really want something um, delicious, like um, something Thai or something um, like a shrimp with cilantro and avocado, like something not bad for me. I don't have a craving to hit like <clears throat> excuse me, to hit um, any fast foods, but I absolutely have a craving for something that is delicious. But, I mean, I'm going on four weeks of a liquid diet, so it's going to happen. Um, these are also amazing. It's the um, Campbell's Ready to Go. So I'll tell you the stats on this one, actually. So for one cup, it's 110 calories. Um five grams of protein, uh, carbohydrates, 19, so it's 6%. Um, I really don't care at this point. I just need something to eat. I can do a cup of this at a time. Um, I started off with a quarter cup, went to half a cup, um, and now I can do a cup at a time. I, I just take it slow. So at a time might be over the course of like 40 minutes, <clears throat> might be over the course of 20 minutes. It just depends on how my stomach's doing. Um, this one is the creamy tomato and I started this when I came home from the hospital. Um, I needed something warm and I needed something that tasted like food. Um, so these for an entire container, which is two and a quarter cups, it's, um, 284 mils, um, is 170 calories, three grams of fat, 33 carbohydrates. Um, and four grams of protein. And at this point in the game, I'm not really concerned with carbohydrates. I'm not running out to eat bread or anything, but I am just looking for something nutritious. Um, so this was really delicious. And again, I started off with a quarter cup and then moved up. I can do one of these over the course of about an hour of like, you know, sipping and um, I started all the soups because I really needed to hydrate myself. So if I wasn't drinking water, then I was drinking soup. Um, creamy wheat. Not my favorite. I prefer oatmeal instead. But again, you can put some of that um, sugar-free syrup in and that works well. Um, also, one packet is 150 calories. I would never eat a packet. So again, it's, it's the same as the oatmeal, but a quarter of a cup. So... And protein, six grams. It's hard to get your protein in, folks, at the beginning. Jello, standard. And and I hope that thank you. Um, I hope that you're all buying your jello at the dairy counter um, where the cheeses and um, cottage cheese and yogurt are. It is a much better quality 
yogurt. Oh, it's not a yogurt. It's a much better quality Jello, and um, you don't have a whole lot of nasty aftertaste or texture. It's good. Um, popsicles, sugar-free popsicles. I've been having those, not as much since I've hit this progress. Gatorade G2. So it's uh, 60 calories for the entire bottle. Um, and I definitely started drinking this when I was feeling dehydrated. Plus you can only take in so much water and I really hate um, Mio or Crystal Light or anything like that. It gives me wicked... Apparently I also had surgery on my tongue. Um, it gives me a wicked migraine. So I try to stay away from stuff like that. If it's already in the food as a sugar-free, I just limit how much I have. But um, to put an additive in my water, wicked migraines. Um, and I'm also enjoying these, which is water zero, the glacial water or glacier, you know, whatever language you're speaking today. Um, and this was the blueberry, pomegranate, Aussie berry, and it's zero all across. There's nothing in it. So, um, again, I can drink like one of these bottles in about an hour. Um, when I got home, things tasted different. Um, I found everything super sweet and, um, I guess that's a good thing cause I don't, I can get sweetness out of, of basically anything. Um, and some things just tasted off. Um, it turns out that um, I was actually drinking sour milk with a lot of my stuff, uh, which may have um, also factored in the diarrhea. So if you think it's off, that might not be your taste. It might actually be that your milk that's labeled for June is um, sour. So um, now that I've got that in my system, um, I'm feeling way better. Um, I just felt like a bag of shit, and that might be why. Um, pills. I have a buttload of pills. Um, I'm doing... I don't even know what this is called. Uh, I think it's called Prelosac. It's got its generic name on here. Prelosac. Um, they're a teeny tiny pill that I'm going to take every day for the next um, three months. And I take two a day. And they are to help uh, coat the lining of my stomach so we keep away from um, ulcers, anything like that. I'm doing the little calcium D chews. I do four of those a day. Um, and they're okay. Um, just chew chew. And they're kind of like a little snack with a little bit of chocolate. Um, I'm still on my vitamin D 50,000 universal units. Um, my vitamin D is crazy low, and so I'm still on that. Please be aware that you will burn on your couch. Um, I did go outside for a little bit, and I just kept cooking. So um, if you are on a, a, a high dose of vitamin D, um, you need to sunscreen or stay in the shade. But I was so excited to see sun that I just sort of laid out there and I continued to cook. I may still be cooking. I'm not really sure. Um... I'm still doing the B12 sublingual. Um, those have been fine. I try to do my multivitamin. Um, I broke it up. You have to crush all your pills. So anything over, um, I think anything over uh, a centimeter, I think, um, you have to crush. So basically all your pills you have to, not crush, good lord, there are some that don't taste very good, um, but at least cut in half with your sleeve. And um, I cut the multivitamin all up and I took it and I think it was down for like 30 seconds. Um, and I was vomiting pretty intensely. So my hospital says no chews, that I can't get any of the gummies or anything like that. Um, at this point, I see them Thursday. I'm going to talk to them about, you know, what is, what is the benefit of taking a chew versus not taking anything because, um, every time I try them, I throw them up. Um, and also anything that I've previously tried to get down. So, um, 
I'm not taking them and I know that that's going to cause an issue in a couple of weeks. So I do have vitamins and stuff in my protein shake so I'm, I'm maintaining something but uh, I really feel like something like a gummy is better than nothing. But if you all have um, comments then down below. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Um, everything pain-wise has been okay. Uh, once the gas went, I'm fine. I am still getting my... Oh, crap. Mm. I can't remember what they're called right now. It's a blood thinner. It comes in your stomach or goes in your stomach. Uh, and you get 10 of them. for t Like, for 10 days, you have to take them. They have been a bitch for me. Um, they're to prevent blood clots and... Of course, people of our stature have issues with that, um, but I am bruising all over like a bitch, and it is absolutely painful to, like, knock myself anywhere. Um, if the dog jumps up, I mean, she's 12 pounds, but if she jumps up on my legs, especially around my shins, uh, it's horrible. Um, so I think I have four more nights and then good riddance to those, but I might, I might bleed to death. I mean, like, little, little bruises are... Big bruises. Um, even things like uh, I had a scratch and I, I scratched and I started to sort of like have blood coming through like the pore. It was a little weird. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm trying to avoid that. But So let's do a body shot and you can see my incisions. They're, uh, they're not great. The lighting's not great. But let's see what we can get and then... We're already at 16 minutes. So, okay. Well, that does nothing. Uh, let's turn this a bit. Without losing you guys, stay with me. Let's move you down. So a fantastic booby shot and under chin shot. Oh, sweet mother. Okay. Huh? Okay. So. This is what you have. This is a horrible angle for anyone. Okay. So you have one up top here, no pain, one here, no pain. These are all from those shots, and the swelling is all from those shots. Like, they feel like little marbles inside. This one, no pain, and actually it's coming off. You can just see like a wee incision there. Um, this one, not a lot of pain. It's also coming off. This one sucks ass. Okay, like it's indented. It's actually come out a lot. Um, really swollen. All this is swollen. Um, this is my problem area. I think this is A, where they took my stomach out of, um, and B, where they stitched muscle. Um, and I have no other pain regarding the surgery except for the swelling here. So it's like to bend, puts pressure anywhere, and it just kills that area. So that is my problem area. I mean, I have a lot of problem areas. Um, I was super lucky to not get anything in my belly button. So I don't know if we can do like a shot here. So body shots. Back. Side. Front. And arm. My arms are what they are. So thanks so much, guys. And I will talk to you later.